Welcome back to Unfiltered. Folks, it's been a really bad week for the FBI and their buddies, Joe and Hunter Biden. Here's a quick recap. In just days, we've learned that the FBI intentionally labeled the Hunter Biden laptop evidence as disinformation. And some of the agents involved in that were the same agents involved in pushing the Russia collusion hoax. Can it get any worse? Then we learn the FBI may have worked to inflate the domestic terrorism stats. You know, domestic terrorists, those pesky parents at school board meetings and all. So it turns out the FBI and the Biden family may have been working together here. Same intentions. Here to weigh in is Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Senator, th thanks for joining us. You know, early on, you were briefed in August of 2020 by the FBI about being the target of Russian disinformation. I remember you on cable news talking about this. You think you were the victim of a possible setup there? I knew at the time and I know now. Uh, they finally leaked that. I think they ran a story in the Washington Post uh, about uh, six or seven months later. Uh, but again, I knew it at the time. Uh, haven't we always known this? Uh, yeah. We've known that the Bidens are a corrupt family for years. Uh, our report, Chuck Grassley and my report, proved it conclusively. Then we had the laptop. Then we had Tony Bobulinski. But the problem we've had is the complicit and corrupt mainstream media has been covering it all up. And now we learn that even the FBI was covering up. It doesn't surprise me. It's, it's shocking. It's, it's outrageous. But it, it certainly explains why 51 intelligence officials would also seek to cover this thing up. I mean, Dan, this is a massive, massive scandal that, once again, the complicit uh, corrupt media is just pretty much shrugging. Only Fox News, only these types of outlets are, are really covering this. Uh, Senator, I get this question a lot from listeners to the radio show and viewers to this show. They'll message me and say, how bad is it over there at the FBI? Is it systemic? Is it a management issue? And what's it going to take to fix it? Your thoughts on that? It's going to need new leadership. And I think it's becoming systemic at the top. Again, I think most FBI agents are have integrity. They need to come forward. You know, God bless the whistleblowers that contacted Chuck Grassley and started blowing the whistle on this corruption. But Christopher, Christopher Ray certainly didn't fix the problem. You know, the FBI knew as, as early as October 2016, certainly by 2017, the Steele dossier was dirty. It was corrupted by Russian disinformation. And yet in March of 2008, under the leadership of Christopher Ray, the FBI briefed the Senate Intel Committee, said, oh, no, the Steele dossier has integrity. They allowed them the Mueller investigation to go forward. So, no, this is a thoroughly corrupt organization. Now, you know, we had that briefing that was a setup. Uh, but again, it's, this is just the tip of the iceberg, I fear. Yeah. Senator, the explosive report by The New York Post this week essentially confirming uh, President Biden is the big guy, as Tony Bobolinsky, the business partner of the Biden deal, had said a long time ago. Uh, this is really this reporting is, is uh, t to call it explosive, maybe an understatement. Uh, what could be done about this? Uh, yeah, where, where do we go with this? Is this going to further your investigation? Well, first of all, how much more evidence do we need? Uh, the, the laptop is a treasure trove. You know, the, the media is just, uh, you know, I call it modified limited hangout. They, they barely admit that uh, some of these emails may be uh, genuine. No, they're, they're all genuine. They all show corruption and criminal activity. Uh, the only way this is going to break through, though, is that the mainstream media gets shamed into covering it. But again, they are complicit and they're corrupt themselves. One, I got about a minute left, but one quick follow up. Do you think there's potential that the mainstream media finds Joe Biden useless because of his low po poll numbers and turns on Joe Biden and finally opens up about this to get him out of office? Oh, that's pretty much our prediction. I think my, my, my yeah. other prediction is that uh, they, they may indict Hunter Biden, but they'll probably seal. You know, they'll do a deal. They'll seal all the information. The American public will never get the full truth. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, too. Senator Ron Johnson, thanks for your work in this case. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it.